Most Takiket users have settled themselves with the use of traditional methods of collectively handling their project information or presentation manually, where such methods will require being carried out every time a project of the same nature has to be made. Although this is not to say the manual work does not produce the results, but why not reduce the amount of time one can take on a single project by fully utilizing Akiket's abilities? Anyway, what's up everyone? This is Meso Live Visual. This tutorial is based on the use of the renovation filter options when dealing with the extension or refurbishment of a building structure in Archicad. However, one can easily ask themselves what is a renovation filter or what are the benefits of using the two. Well, the renovation filter option is used to define which elements through the renovation status should be shown, hidden or overwritten in a renovation filter. This option can help the project define the exact elements that are existing to be demolished and the newly added elements. That's allowing automation of information that can allow you to easily extract information required for the analysis of the building elements. Anyway, let's get started. Basically, this tutorial will be broken down into different stages. These stages will allow one to understand the need and importance of the renovation filter options. And these stages are as follows. The first one will be the analysis of the existing model before the refurbishment, followed by assigning the renovation status for each element. And this will help define the existing from new and from the demolished elements. Third will be how to use the renovation filter option and lastly, automating the schedules that will represent our information using the graphic overrides. With that being said, we can move on to our first stage of the video, which is the analysis of the existing model. So our main priority at this stage is to be able to identify and assign correctly all the existing elements to an appropriate renovation filter. As I said, this option can help the project to define the exact elements that are existing to be demolished and the newly added elements. So our project goal is to renovate the facade of our building. Before having done that, before having done that let's assign all the existing elements uh, to an appropriate uh, renovation status. For us to be able to do that, let's go to our ground floor. And under ground floor, we can easily uh, select all our wall tools and under wall selection settings, we go to classification and properties. And under that, you go uh, to existing and you make sure that you have assigned the appropriate uh, renovation status. So in this case, this is existing. After the, having done that, you can simply hit OK. Now, after having uh, applying the renovation status for our existing existing building. And we move on now to uh, assigning now the renovation status of our uh, introduced uh, elements uh, from our renovation. So from here, we are going to simply select all elements that have been uh, newly assigned to our model and give them the uh, appropriate status. So we simply select all And under the classification and properties, you now change to the new uh, renovation status. From here, you can simply go to our floor plan and make sure that all the elements have been selected. And they are assigned to the appropriate uh, renovation filter. So for in this case, uh, under this concept, the idea is to create a view from the formal lounge into to, to the pool. So this part of the building is going to be demolished and for those uh, elements to be demolished, you can simply assign them to uh, demolish the renovation status.
can go to our first floor plan and double check all the elements if they have been set to the appropriate uh, renovation status. With that being completed, now we can move on now to the following stage, which is now knowing how to use the renovation filter. Basically, there are two ways to access uh, the renovation filter options. The first one, you can go through documents. Under documents, you can access them through renovation, and you select the renovation filter options, and this tab will pop out. Uh, secondly, you can also use the window. Under window, you go through palettes, and under palettes, you can create a, a palette for the renovation uh, options. And you can simply uh, take it on your screens for easy access. So, under this, that's when you can easily access your renovation future options on the screen. And from here, you can select uh, your renovation future options. And from here, you come through the duplicate where you can easily create your own uh, future options or rename or you can rename your future options or delete, import uh, from another source or export your re renovation filters for use of another project. So and also the, the renovation filter options, we have the future settings and this will define the show, the hide and the override by the renovation status. So if you want to hide the existing elements, you can easily uh, hide them and so that you won't be able to see them when you are ac active on your drawing so that it can only show the element that you have created that are new or not and not existing. So by setting this, you can easily control or maneuver your drawing as to what you want to show on your drawing and what you not want to show on your drawing by simply uh, clicking the required uh, elements. So under also this uh, renovation filter options, we have the graphic override rules. So this graphic override is used, I used to apply a, a predefined appearance or to your model so that they can portray certain information that you want to give out to your uh, on your drawing or on your presentation so by this renovation uh, settings it will define uh, by the renovation status how by the renovation status how your elements that are existing are going to be shown or how your renov uh, your elements that are under demolished how are they going to be presented and the new ones how are they going also to be presented so you can also easily uh, utilize your own uh, settings so that you can define how your building want to be shown on your drawings by simply changing uh, the override style and the color and the pen mark, the, the line marks and the background pens for for your for your settings. So by simply doing this. You can easily now set how your building you want it to be shown by using the renovation settings. So in this case, we are going to use the override settings so that, and we go to project completion so that all the elements that have been uh, created can be shown uh, on our drawing. So this is simply showing us how our element that have been 
demolished are under the red color, the, the introduced are under the green color and the existing under the gray color. So you can simply do this by editing or your graphic override rules. So if you want to hide the existing, you can simply hide and then now you'll be left with the demolished part and uh, the introduced uh, or the new elements on your building and you can easily now uh, control the your drawing your drawings so by applying your renovation future options it will also be applicable on your drawings or your floor plans so you can easily identify which uh, areas are to be uh, are newly built and which areas are existing and which areas are demolished so in this case now we are going to create a, a legend using the schedules so that we can easily give out the information or portray the information as to which material represent which. So being the walls represented in solid green fuel, uh, being the new elements and the one that are gray being the existing and the hedged with red color being the to be demolished walls. Now we can easily create a, a a legend that will give us the information so that it will be easy to identify which wall is which. So for us to do that, we go under project map. Under project map, we create a new schedule. Under schedule, we can give it an ID. Then give it a name, renovation filter. So under the criteria, we we'll choose our value to be to only show for for walls. And under the fields, we can create our element ID or element name. Oh, then the two uh, D view of the wall and. Lastly, the renovation status. And then we hit OK. So from there, we open our schedule and we merge all elements which are the same. So there we have our our uh, legend representing all the the walls in our in our floor plan. So by simply doing this, now we can go to our layout page and then we annotate. Uh, our drawing so looking at the previously what had been done like manually comparing now the manual work and the uh, automated uh, work now this one you have to re redo it every time when you create a new project Whereas you can always have a pre this one preserved and always reuse it every time you have a project of the same uh, nature. So in order to modify, we go to modify our view settings and under renovation filter, we select uh, project completion and graphic override, we call, uh, select no overrides and then we hit OK. Now it will give us the correct representation of our uh, 
structure. Same applies to the floor plan. Under renovation filter, go to project completion and for graphic overrides, you select no overrides. And you can increase the scale of our legend. So the advantage of this is anything that we change here on the plan, it will automatically also be updated on our legend already on our layout page instead of using the manual work every time when you change on your drawing you have to come also and uh, update here manually which will take more time instead of using a more and a, a more efficient way of automating automating your your legend or schedules that's it for today's tutorial and that's how you can achieve uh, building renovation with the use of renovation filters thank you for making it to the end i hope this will improve your lucky case skills also simply go to the comment section below and share with us your thoughts on this video and i'll be waiting to respond to every single question or comment Follow the link in the description and check the files and presets of this project in our Patreon account. Don't forget to visit our website for tons of best architecture resources, templates, presets, ebooks, beam details and so forth. And make sure to subscribe, like, share this video to keep us producing high quality content for architecture tools and resources.